Welcome to another Noah Hyde Moments. I'd like to continue the theme of history and talk about a very important man, Vindal Jones, born 1930, died in 2010. Vindal Jones is arguably really one of the most important figures in the resurrection of Noahism as a religious identity. His impact and importance as a scholar, as a teacher, especially as a personal example are, are really difficult to overstate. Jones began his career as a pastor in a Baptist church. He resigned his pulpit in 1956 after wrestling with deep doubts about his Christian faith. Though he held advanced degrees in both theology and biblical studies, Vindel decided to restart his entire religious education from scratch and literally he did it from scratch. Moving his family to South Carolina, he enrolled into the classes at a local Talmud Torah, which was a Jewish elementary school. There, he studied Torah and he learned Hebrew. And as he gained his facilities in Torah uh, study and in Hebrew, he sought the guidance from the local rabbis as to the observance of the Noahide commandments. Jones steadily developed a very sophisticated Noahide religious identity grounded firmly in Torah and a worldview. And that's one of the things that I would like to try to make sure that I uh, reach out to everyone, that we must have a, a worldview of what it means to be a Noahide. In the 1960s, Jones became deeply involved with archaeological pursuits. Eventually, he moved his family to Israel to continue his studies at the Hebrew University. Over the next three decades, he embarked on a number of important archaeological digs. Through his lectures on biblical archaeology, his publications, his lectures, and his weekly classes that I remember when I lived in Dallas, he and his son and, and they would have it at his house and they would broadcast it over Pal Talk. He not only inspired innumerable non-Jews to explore Noahism, but he also, very importantly, brought the Noahide laws back onto the rabbinic radar. Since the destruction of the temple, the Noahide observance, as we know, became very almost non-existent, extremely rare. And rabbinic knowledge of these laws also became correspondingly scarce. Vindel's personal quest to understand the Noahide obligations inspired many rabbis to reopen these long abandoned ideas and areas of study, which we have today a, a, a whole lot of rabbis that are teaching about the Noahide laws. And as a result of the, his sincere beliefs and his honest quest for truth, Vindel is regarded by most Noahides and many rabbis as the father of the modern Noahide movement.
In August, we're going to have the Noahide Mitzvot and Lifestyle Course. Sign up at nativ.net and stay informed of the schedule and updates.